How's it going guys? It's Lex Lake here bringing you week 12 team builder for the PMC. Uh, this week we are going up against the Jersey Devils, um, which is cool. Uh, this is the last week of the PMC, of the regular season, the PMC season, PMC season one, uh, which is really cool. Uh, we are guaranteed playoffs. <sighs> Excuse me, it's, um, it's 12.15 at night, so, you know, <laughs> uh, when I'm recording this, but anyway. We are here uh, in week 12. Now we already guaranteed a playoff spot, but uh, the Dallas Star U, the Dallas Star U's actually lost their week 12 battle. So if we win this, uh, we will be conference champions. And the conference is just like my half of the league. There's four divisions and in the whole league, and then there's two divisions in each conference. So I'm on one. I'm in one conference, and then there's a different conference. But, uh, yeah, so if we win this, it's going to be really cool because then we get a conference. Then we're, like, the conference leaders going into the playoffs, which is really cool. Because um, Dallas was – the Dallas Stars were 8-3 and three going into Week 12, and we were 8-3. and three, And then they lost another 8-4. and four, And we're still 8-3. and three, So if we lose, we're, he has way better of a differential than us. Uh, but if we win, you know, wins come before differentials. So – if we win, we'll be nine and three, and then we'll be able to. Uh, that would give us the best record in the conference. So uh, yeah, um, last time we faced the Jersey Devils, they forrowed us, but uh, l hopefully that won't happen this time. Um, I feel like we are very prepared for this battle, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'm right on that on that assumption. But anyway, let's go over his team real quick. He's got the Zapdos. Uh, very bul bulky Pokemon. He brought it to a Scarf last time we battled, and uh, I pretty much wasted my Tornadus just because it was just because the Zapdos was um, to Scarfed. I just brought my Tornadus in thinking I'm gonna outspeed, and then it just hits me with a Thunderbolt <laughs> and takes me out. So that was definitely unfortunate. But it can also be bulky if it wants to be. It gets defog. It gets roost. You know, it, it can be it can be annoying. So next up is Haxorus. Very strong threat. He did not bring the Hexers last time, but uh, he could if he wants, to, uh, because it does get Poison Jab for Whimsicott. It gets Earthquake for Magnezon. Um, Mega Scizor is there, but yeah, it's it's, it's really threatening because if he gets a Dragon Dance up, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty scary. Uh, so next up is Holucha. He actually late game swept me with Holucha last time we battled, uh, so we gotta make sure that that thing is kept at a distance. You know, we gotta make sure it doesn't get set up. Because that could be very threatening. Um, so, yeah. Next up is Fortress uh, Hazard Setter. It is the Hazard Master. It gets Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, Spikes, and Rapid Spin. So, that's really cool. It's very physically bulky as well. Uh, it gets Volt Switch. It, just, it, it gets Strong Dryo Ball because it's so slow. And, yeah, it's, it's only all in Weakness and Fire. So, that's a, that's a thing. Next up is Chronon. Uh, he actually had Keldeo last time we battled. But he traded it for Cronon. Cronon is very scary. I'd actually rather him have Keldeo because we do have Whimsicott and Sloking for Keldeo. But Cronon is just, with that adaptability knockoff, nothing wants to switch in. So, like, Whimsicott is there, you might say, but still, like, a Life Orb Aqua Jet, or a Life Orb knockoff plus Aqua Jet, my Whimsicott's going to have to be really healthy to be able to live that combo. So, yeah. And, uh, and you know, Sloking is just gets bodied by knockoff you know Gligar isn't really reliable I mean Greninja is there but um, at the same time it's not the bulkiest thing so you know uh, and that priority aqua jet with adaptability is it, that it's just gonna be annoying <laughs> so if he does bring it at least next up my big in my opinion his biggest threat against my team Lander Saren he actually didn't bring it last time we battled but I expect him to bring it this time um, because it's it's just it's a it's a threat just straight up it's a it's a threat he could go choice scarfed which I think he will do um, if he does bring it he could also go defensive though if he wants um, but yeah I I, I thought it was, I deemed it as his biggest threat in my opinion last time we battled and it you know it's still his biggest threat against my team uh, just because I have like other than Glagar once Glagar goes down we don't really have too much for it and there's not much we can do about it you know. So next up we have uh, Nine Tails. He actually brought Nine Tails last time, and it kind of it was a pain for us to deal with. Um, I don't know if I remember. I don't 
remember if we actually took it out or not, but yeah, it was, it was annoying, um, because it got hypnosis, it went for hypnosis, and it well, switched in on, like, Clefable every single time, it was just, it was annoying, <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't come again, but we are prepared for it. Next up, Mega Bayonets, Mega Bayonets, very offensive, gets Prankster, which is cool, so that's going to be Priority Thunder Wave, Priority will wisp Priority Pain Split, Priority Destiny Bond, Priority Memento, pri Priority Cotton Guard, like this thing's, it's a monster. Uh, it's also very strong, it gets Knock Off, Sucker Punch, Gunk Shot from our Wimsy Got Shadow Sneak, uh, so it's just, it's it's very good. Um, next up, Bronzong, I don't think he'll bring Bronzong because I do have Greninja and Gengar there just to hit it really hard. He could bring it though if he wants, because uh, other than those two, it, I mean, it's decent, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, next up is Gardevoir. Um, Gardevoir's kind of just there. He didn't bring it last time. Uh, Mega Scissor bodies it with Bullet Punch. You know, Slow King's there to wall it. Um, you know, there's just a bunch of things that just kind of, you know, sit there in front of it. Um, so, you know, he might bring it, definitely. But, you know, we, we should be super good against it. That's been all he's, he's, he's got to leave Annie. He could bring CQ webs against my team, um, but I'm not sure he won't, he'll want to do that because it, realistically, it's only really good against my Greninja, my Hitmonlee, my Pyroar, my Whimsicott, but that's pretty much it. But, so anyway, he might bring it, but he might not. Who knows? So anyway, let's get into the team I am bringing. That's not the team I'm bringing. Let's just go over this. All right, here we are. First off is uh, Gengar, out of speed, to out speed. I believe it's max speed Zapdos. It could be max speed Landers Therian, but I believe it's max speed Zapdos. Um, just in case. So, we got Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Wave, and Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice to hit the Landers Therian. Uh, Hidden Power Ice does the same amount um, to Zapdos than uh, Sludge Wave. Uh, so, yeah, this thing's just overall really good against this team. Um, because that speed stat we're going to be able to put some extra bulk in ourselves which is going to be nice we hit a lot of things hard uh, we can dazzling gleam the crawdont the halucha and the haxorus um i just felt like hidden power ice is better than hidden power fire in this in this scenario so yeah next up is eclipse our expert belted awesome thing outspeeding outspeeding max speed halucha before the unburden because you never know you could run a banded Holucha, you know, you know, like it, it, you never know. So anyway, Ice Beam because um, he, you know, he has five Pokemon on his team. They get hit hard. They get hit super effectively with Ice Beam. Uh, and then we have Grass Knot for the Crawdon because I can't really hit the Crawdon otherwise. Surf is just there to hit the Fortress. You know, the Nine Tails, the Gardevoir, um, and then Dark Pulse is there for the Bronzong and the Mega Bayonet. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Um, we're just going to move along. Uh, next up we have uh, Kyurem. Now you're going to understand the speed stat once, I'm, once I show you a few other... Or once I show you one of my other Pokemon on the team. But Ice Beam there, obviously, I mean, Kyurem's a huge threat against this team. You know, when five of, five of your opponent's Pokemon are weak to one type, you're going to want to be able to take advantage of that. And that's what we're going to try to do with this uh, Minus Life Orb Kyurem. Um... So, yeah, uh, what I wanted to do, though, I didn't really need Dragon Staff for this, so I just wanted Shadow Ball to hit the Bronzong, uh, the Gardevoir, and the Mega Bayonets, um, and then Earth Power to hit the Ninetales, and Focus Blast to hit the Crawdon, and that's pretty much it, and then, you know, Ice Beam hits everything else. So, there's only, Fortress is the only thing on his team that doesn't get hit super effectively by Kyurem. Which is awesome, uh, and you know, Fortress isn't really gonna want to take a Focus Blast necessarily, or just Shadow Ball or an Earth Power. So, uh, next up is Bliss, our uh, Whimsicott, enough speed to outspeed Max Speed. Um, Zapdos, I think it was. Wasn't Zapdos? I'm pretty sure it was. Um, it could have been. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was Zapdos. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, Kobo Berry to be able to take an Acrobatics from Halucha, as long as he's not a plus two. Um, so yeah, Moonblast, Hidden Power Fire, Encore, and Toxic. Encore to, uh, Encore, maybe, you know, maybe crawl on into Sword Dance or Dragon Dance. You know, we could Encore, dra uh, on Haxorus into 
sub or dragon dance or swords dance or agility or whatever it has um and then we have you know if i switch in and holy two goes for sub i can encore it because encore does what work past the sub which is great now we've hidden power fire there for the fortress because otherwise i you know i want to be able to hit that fortress hard hard <clears throat> sorry Ugh, losing voice here so uh, encore is just cool for his team so yeah and then toxic there just to wear things down Next up is Chubbs, my agility substitute for Tom Bass Defog. Uh, before you say, dude, you're nuts, it's actually not that bad of a set because uh, I can I click substitute, I lead off of this thing and click substitute against most things on Steam. Uh, against Haxor, some definitely he's not going to want to stay in. Against Hallucha, definitely. Against Fortress, definitely. Against Ninetales, he's not going to want to stay in. Um, against Bronzong, definitely. Against Levani, definitely. Uh, against. If he doesn't bring in Power Ice on Zapdos, or if he doesn't want to go for it, then Zapdos. Um, Mega Bayonet, possibly, but he's probably going to want to stay in. But anyway. Sorry about that, I just had to pause the, pause the video real quick. But anyway, he asked in his is here to set up a sub and agility and baton pass. Um, if he brings a Levani, then we can defog the sticky webs. If he leads with Fortress, we can defog the hazards. And uh, yeah, this thing's very passive, but at the same time, if I get that sub and agility up, I can just Baton Pass into Kirim or really anything and uh, hopefully put it to work. Uh, so then, next, last but not least, we have the Magnazon, Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature with Analytic uh, and Lefties, Substitute in Bar Ice, Flash Cannon, and Thunderbolt. Um, this set I'm going to be able to set up on Zapdos because he's not going to bring in Power Ground. Like, he's going to have to bring in Power Ice. I hope. <laughs> I can probably set up on Haxorus if it's outraging. I can set up on definitely Fortress. He's not going to want to stay in with Cronon. Um, I can set up on Bronzong definitely unless he brings Earthquake, which he might. And I definitely Gardevoir, definitely Levani. So, you know, you kind of seen the trend here. Just trying to, you know, take advantage of his, of his Pokemon. So. Uh, also, by the way, um, Lander's Therian, I'm going to be able to set up a sub on easy. Because Knockoff and Adamant Choice Scarfed Landorus does like 20% with Knockoff to my Gligar. And then I can, you know, set up an agility and then BP out, you know. Eh. So, anyway, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, battle will go up hopefully the day after this. Maybe not, actually, maybe, I don't. I don't know if it will or not, but either way, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, and uh, yeah, I really want to get this get this win. By the way, we are going to be playing on Pokemon Showdown, which is the uh, website I use to record these. Pretty much, you know, this is Pokemon Showdown. But anyway, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.